how many different countries will you get to visit the North of Honestin? Kids wanted to show Shauna the park, and we're getting ready to say goodbye. <laughs> I got a message with me. Well, this is not a bad view to wake up to. Janae and I are playing badminton. Have you ever played badminton before? On Nintendo Sports, but not in real life. And who's the best in the family at badminton? Me. On Nintendo Sports. So we're gonna see if it translates to real life badminton. Nice! Woo. Oh, good try. You got it! Yeah. Hey! We did it! We did it! Hi, Pat. Did you notice what this is? Do you remember when we did that in Park City? That was for the Winter Olympics. It's the ski jump for the Olympics. I have said many times that this area really reminds us a lot of Park City, Utah. It's very similar. Do you see the color of the water? Beautiful. So this water color reminds me of light blue Gatorade, which is what I drank the entire time I was pregnant with both of you. It which does. now it, it makes sense why they called it like Arctic Freeze. Yes. Glacier ice, not Arctic Glacier Freeze. Glacier ice, well that makes sense. I this is it might be called Glacier Freeze. Something like that. We're gonna need to fact check this. So here's where we are right now. We're walking up to this gorge. What's funny is I thought this town was called Garmisch Partenkirchen, but I think it's two separate towns. Yeah, yeah. Garmisch and Partenkirchen. Yeah, yeah. We've been staying in Greinau and up here is the Zugspitze where we were yesterday. And here's our favorite lake. So we're walking to Partenachklam right now, which is 20 minutes. And I'm just grateful we're not going any of those further places. Wait, <laughs> it's hot right now. Well, those are pretty. This is a beautiful walk. We had a wood burning stove when I was in high school and junior high, and we never stacked the wood that perfectly, so it's just fun to see the amount of detail in stacking of the wood. Today was screaming that there's a park! I want to walk in. I think it feels so nice. What is it called? It's called, um, in German, Up? Up? I did a hike at Zion's National Park called the Narrows. And this reminds me a lot of this, but this path is so convenient that our whole family can just walk up and down safely. And Shauna had a warm shirt. So oh. she's all set.
Here's the different kinds of rocks. Quartz. My favorite is meta metamorphic basalt. So we came out of the gorge and now we can actually go down to the river, which we have to do. It's so cold. This water is so beautiful. Your feet will eventually numb. Pie under it and pie on top. She's making rock pie. So we've all been inspired by the rock towers. And everybody's building something. That one's mine. Janae's is a rock pie. Oh, that's beautiful. Jeremy's pretty proud of his creation. All of the stones are the same. Same color. The cold water is feeling really good. Oh my goodness. Ah, that's incredible. We keep talking about how blue the water is, but check out how green these trees are. Oh my goodness. So I've had my feet in the water for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and I'm realizing I need to come out because I'm losing feeling okay. in the lower toes. Okay, Caleb. Caleb, you might need to give yourself a break from I the water. I can't feel my feet. That's yeah, the problem. Well, that's, that's called frostbite. <laughs> you two, come out. You always have to go up around it. It's a rule. I love how you're using sand. We're seeing if we can throw across the river. Laura, that was close. He made it. Janae's trying. Oh, so close. Nailed it. Jeremy, you want to try? Sure. Oh. Up into the trees. Whoa. Jeremy says this is too easy, so he's going for the reverse toss. Oh, you got it. <laughs> got it. Making it across the river. Oh, you got it. We need a wider river. We're now trying to flick them across with our toes. Oh, I almost made it! Oh, Toe flicker. Oh, that was really close too. You can't feel your hands? Oh, that was only halfway there, bud. I can't feel my feet. Are they so cold? Or my hands. Uh oh, the water's very cold. This is the beginning of Caleb's. Dude, that's awesome. I don't know when to stop. Maybe I need to just stop. This is normally a super busy place, but we came on a weekday and we came late in the day. It's about to close and nobody else is here right now. That just makes it feel more like we're out in nature. We're all alone. We're just chilling and having fun. Hey, run, 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 run. It's a little puppy. Only three weeks old. Like the, mother was, okay, the mother died, so they're taking care oh. of the baby. Oh my gosh. You know, what, is it rock hot? All right, it's time to head out. the kids how to whistle. Like this? Yeah, I have my hands like this. Wait, show like, me, show me, show me. Like this. <laughs> Not quite. Here, wait, wait. <laughs> you guys are nailing it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're making, so then you hold that part through your hand and you're making like a cave. And this is your mouthpiece, basically like this. So see? Like this? Yeah, and it's pretty tight. that we've visited here in Europe, 
you use your ticket to get in and you use your ticket to get out. That's been a good thing for us to learn. You gotta hold on to your ticket in the middle because you also have to scan it when you're exiting. Oh, he did it though, he did it. He I did it. it. I don't yeah. believe it. Yeah, yeah, he did it. No way. <laughs> he did it. You're making it up. You need a, you're letting, you know what? Let so my granddad, Shauna's dad, is the one that taught her to do the whistling with her hands. And it's fun because I remember my granddad trying to teach me. I never got it, so it's fun to see the kids learning. Is he Lucy carrying you? Yeah. Okay, wait. Ow. <laughs> Don't headbutt your horsey. <laughs> you were doing it just I a was. second ago. Okay. He did it! <laughs> we were dancing while walking. Why not? Today started it. <laughs> Shauna would have been a TikTok star in high school. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Shauna's dance. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> you taught me that, I think, at Thanksgiving in like 1994 or something like that. I got all my sisters with me. It's like the face. Yeah, you gotta get into it. That's part of the game. Okay, Janae, what's that sound? Sheep bells. Yep, it's the bells on the sheep. We also hear them on the cows out here. That's been one of Kendra's favorite things. You're getting there. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. One last time. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, and one. Shauna's a great teacher, and nothing makes a walk go faster than learning something new. Shauna took all five kids to the bakery this morning and picked out some fun stuff for us to try, and I had a moment of peace, and it was lovely. There. Ooh. Okay, so here's the deal. This is a crop, and I'm gonna cut that in the half. Okay. Maybe another time. This is apple. This is an apple crop. Could be very interesting. This is that cinnamon thing that I was oh, telling yeah, you about. Yeah. I don't know how it is here. It looks like it has, and I, don't, I don't know what that is. Yummy lemon. We're thing gonna try it. Oh, okay, so maybe. Or I chose a chocolate croissant. Those have become her favorite. And Janae went with a donut, and it's almost gone. Bakery stops are always a little hard for Caleb. Yeah, they don't have gluten free options, milk. but he got chocolate milk. Mm. Okay, so we're going to the orthodontist, which I'm really bummed about. But the reason why we're going is because my permanent retainer is very weird. It's like coming off, kind of. And so we need to get that fixed for the world trip. So that's why we're going. On the top, she's got like a removable one. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And on the bottom, there's a permanent one that goes along there. The problem is the permanent one is nearly falling out. It is coming loose and with every bite. I can feel it coming up and down, so. Yes, it's gonna fall out any moment, so. Aunt Shauna helped us this morning. She called and found an orthodontist close by, and we're going in right now. All right, while well, Elise is at the orthodontist, Laura, Janae, and I are heading to the park. Isaac and Caleb are reading, doing some school. Boom, 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 boom. Isn't it crazy to think that we were up on that mountain yesterday? I know. Crazy, huh? So I've been reading Sisters Grimm, and I wanted to come over here because I was tired and I wanted to get more, like, exercised. I've been listening to Ramona the Pest, and I'm almost done with it. And so I'm gonna be going on to Ramona the Brave, and I've been liking it. Fun. But I haven't been able to listen it that often, because, <gasps> there's a baby! Is it a little slug? Don't hurt it. I won't try to, it's still breathing. In France, they eat snails. It's called escargot. I'm never gonna try that. We'll see about that. I'm 
you My try cousin it? just went and had some and they said it was pretty good. It looks good. I'm gonna try to try every food in on the world. Let's see, here it is. How's this feel? Very comfortable. Nice. How many different countries will you get to visit an orthodontist in? Hopefully none. Hopefully no more after this. This office is super nice. And I'm so grateful that Shauna was with us in like the parking and finding the office and helping me fill out all the paperwork. That was the hard part. Now I think we're gonna be good. The doctor definitely speaks English. I don't know about you, but I know about me. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I got my head on the sun. I'm back to my favorite temple. You got me dancing in my bed, but you show it. Yes. All repaired and ready to go. Well, the orthodontist was amazing, so helpful. He got the permanent retainer fixed and he took a mold to make a liner that she's going to be able to wear at night. That way, if anything else happens in another country with the permanent retainer, we've got that backup. So we're gonna come pick that up tomorrow. We stopped by the grocery store on the way home just to grab a couple things and we had so much fun. My aunt was showing us all sorts of stuff that I wouldn't have even recognized at the grocery store. And so now we're loaded up for some good food for good lunch. What'd you purchase? A nail polish. You've been missing doing your gel nails, huh? Yes, it's like become such a hobby that I need nail polish. You were looking at your nails going, wait a minute, something's yeah. wrong. Okay, what color did you pick? I chose white because it's just, it matches everything. I and think it's it a just, good plan. Yeah. It's a good plan. I might have you paint mine too. There you go, apple shoulder. Thank you. So apple shola, you can buy it at the store, but you can also just get apple soft, which is apple juice and carbonated, carbonated water, water. and mix it together. Bam. Does it work? Elise, your lunch looks good. She's got the apple shorle, and then she made herself a little sandwich. She's finishing up some of the Kaiser Spätzle. All right, here's how my meal turned out. I've got some amazing like flaxseed and whole wheat bread underneath that open face sandwich. We've been eating so many delicious foods here, but it's very, very carb heavy, and so I was very excited to go to the grocery store today and load up on fruits and veggies. After lunch, I have no energy all of a sudden. All of us adults felt it. We're like, whoa, we are so tired. So we're doing a mandatory 30 minute quiet time, rest time. Jeremy's been loving his uh, eye cover. He's not asleep yet. Mm -mm. Nope, not yet, but he will be any second. Dad? <laughs> well, that didn't last long. <laughs> Why do you want? So we got ice cream at the grocery store and they literally have spaghetti ice cones. Do you guys remember when we ate spaghetti ice for the first time up in Lansut? Well, this is cool. We also got lemon cones. How are the lemon ones? They're really good. They kind of remind me of Aunt Michelle's lemon ring pie. Mm, that's a high compliment to both the cone and Aunt Michelle. So this rental does not have a washer or a dryer but it does have drying racks and so we can put all of our towels and swimsuits up here. They're totally dry. It's wet. What book are you listening to? Harry Potter 4. Fun. We just had a delicious dinner at home. We just made simple noodles and I had a jar of red sauce and a jar of pesto sauce. We had some gluten-free noodles. Shauna whipped up a little salad. We cut up some cucumbers and had some cherries. And then we all sat around and talked about our favorite moments with Shauna in the last week or so. It's gonna be hard, we have to say goodbye to her shortly. Jeremy's the man on dish duty. Thank you, babe. Run it in the dishwasher, it makes it pretty easy once you figure out how to run it. <laughs> the kids wanted to show Shauna the park. Oh. And we're getting ready to say goodbye. Two. I'll do it at the car. This kid, if you hug any better, as you age, it's gonna be. <laughs> I don't know where you go. Whoa. There she goes. Evening, an evening swing. <laughs> Super fun. <laughs> Grandpa! Good night. Jailhouse out. We're heading to the top of the tallest mountain in Germany. Yeah. We're up above the clouds. Oh, that one got me. Go! 
It's not very often you can do this in the middle of July. Nope. 